Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a deep dive into the question, is Australia still the best destination for foreigners to immigrate? This is a subject that many of you might be pondering, especially considering the current global scenario. In this video, we will attempt to provide a balanced view, covering both the advantages and challenges of making Australia your new home. Australia, known for its breathtaking landscapes, diverse culture and high standard of living, has traditionally been a popular choice for immigrants. However, is it still the ideal destination it once was? We'll dissect this topic, factoring in aspects like current immigration policies, job opportunities, cost of living, and the overall quality of life. We understand that immigrating to a new country is a significant decision, and we want to equip you with the most comprehensive information possible. So, without further ado, let's delve into the heart of the matter. Australia, known as the lucky country, has long been a top choice for immigrants. Let's explore why. Picture a place where the standard of living is high, the society is multicultural, job opportunities are plentiful, and the education system is top-notch. That's Australia for you. It's no wonder so many people from around the world are drawn to this vibrant, diverse country. First off, the standard of living in Australia is one of the highest in the world. This means that people here enjoy a high quality of life. From the spacious housing to the clean, green environment to the excellent healthcare system, Australia offers its residents a comfortable lifestyle that is hard to beat. Plus, it's one of the safest countries in the world, offering peace of mind to those who call it home. But it's not just the high standard of living that makes Australia attractive. The country is also known for its multicultural society. People from all walks of life and cultures have made Australia their home, creating a rich tapestry of diversity. This multiculturalism is celebrated and embraced, making Australia a welcoming place for immigrants. Now let's talk about job opportunities. Australia has a strong economy that is constantly growing and evolving. This means there are plenty of job opportunities in a range of sectors, from healthcare to information technology to the arts. The country's minimum wage is also one of the highest globally, ensuring that workers are fairly compensated. Not to mention Australia has a low unemployment rate, so the chances of finding a job are pretty good. And what about education? Well, Australia's education system is highly regarded around the world. The country is home to some of the world's best universities and research institutions. Plus, the government invests heavily in education, ensuring that schools have the resources they need to provide high-quality education. This makes Australia a great place for families with children, as well as those looking to further their education or career. But there's more to Australia than just its high standard of living, multicultural society, job opportunities, and top-notch education system. The country is also famous for its beautiful landscapes, from its pristine beaches to its lush rainforests, its vibrant cities to its charming small towns. There's always something new to explore and experience in Australia, adding to its appeal. In a nutshell, Australia offers a high quality of life, a welcoming society, ample job opportunities, and an excellent education system. It's a country that values diversity and inclusivity, and it provides its residents with the resources and opportunities they need to thrive. It's a country where one can feel at home, no matter where they're from. Clearly Australia has a lot to offer, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there are also some downsides to consider. While Australia has its perks it also has its share of challenges for immigrants. Let's shed light on some of them. Now let's be real, Australia is known for its high cost of living especially in major cities like Sydney and Melbourne. Rent can put a significant dent in your wallet, not to mention groceries, utilities and other essentials. You'll be looking at spending a tidy sum just to cover the basics each month. And if you're thinking of buying a house, well, the property market in Australia is notoriously expensive. So, bear in mind that you might need to budget more than you're used to. Then there's the distance from other countries. Australia is splendidly isolated, girt by sea as the national anthem says. While this makes for beautiful coastlines and unique wildlife, it also means that Australia is quite far from most places. If you're from the Northern Hemisphere, you're looking at a long haul flight to visit family and friends back home. It's not just the time, but also the expense that can make regular visits back home challenging. Speaking of challenges, let's talk about Australia's strict immigration policies. It's not a walk in the park to get a visa to live and work here. The process can be complex, with stringent requirements and a points-based system that prioritizes certain skills and professions. It's crucial to do your research and perhaps even seek professional advice before embarking on this journey. And remember, even if you do secure a visa, permanent residency or citizenship can still be a long way off. And lastly there's the potential for cultural shock. 
While Australia is a multicultural society and English is widely spoken, the Australian dialect and slang can take some getting used to. Plus, there are the cultural norms and social etiquette that might be different from what you're used to. And, let's not forget the unique Aussie sense of humor which can sometimes feel like a language in itself, it's all part of the adventure but it can take a while to feel completely at home. It's also worth mentioning that, while Australia has a generally warm climate, the weather can be extreme. Bushfires in the summer, cyclones in the north and occasional flooding are all part of life down under. And if you're not a fan of creepy crawlies, well, Australia is famous for those too. So, as you can see, just like any other country, Australia has its pros and cons when it comes to immigration. It's a beautiful and welcoming country with a lot to offer, but it's also important to be aware of the potential challenges and to plan accordingly. We've explored the good, the bad, and the somewhere in between of immigrating to Australia. We've delved into the vibrant culture, the thriving economy, the strong educational system, and the diverse opportunities that the land down under has to offer. We've also examined the challenges that immigrants might encounter, such as the cost of living, the potential for culture shock, and the stringent immigration policies. Let's remember, Australia's appeal is not just about the tangible aspects like job opportunities, healthcare, or education, it's also about the intangible ones, the sense of community, the lifestyle, the beautiful landscapes, the rich history, and the multicultural society. It's about the chance to start anew, to grow, to explore, and to embrace a different way of life. But we've also acknowledged that Australia, like any other country, is not without its flaws. The cost of living can be high, especially in major cities like Sydney or Melbourne. The immigration process can be complex and rigorous, and adjusting to a new culture, while enriching, can also be challenging. It's important to weigh these pros and cons against your own circumstances, aspirations, and capabilities. What are your career goals? What kind of lifestyle do you desire? What are your family's needs and aspirations? These are all pertinent questions to consider when deciding where to immigrate. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to whether Australia is the best destination for immigrants. It depends on a multitude of factors, your personal circumstances, your career aspirations, your family's needs, and your own definition of what the best means to you. Ultimately, whether Australia is the best destination for you to immigrate is a decision only you can make. We hope that our discussion has provided you with some food for thought. The journey of immigration is a significant one, filled with both challenges and opportunities. It's a decision that requires careful consideration and planning. But wherever you choose to go, remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. So, take your time, do your research, and make the choice that feels right for you. That wraps up our exploration of whether Australia is still the best destination for foreigners to immigrate. We've walked through the pros and cons, heard different perspectives, and hopefully, given you some food for thought. As always, we're eager to hear your thoughts. Don't hesitate to drop us a comment below. Are you considering moving to Australia? Or perhaps you've already made the move and have some insights to share? We're all ears. If you found this video helpful, show us some love by hitting the like button. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us create more content for you. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. We've got plenty more insightful videos lined up, and we'd hate for you to miss out. We hope you found this video insightful. Until next time, take care and keep exploring your world.